WWJD. What would Jesus do? A lot of people use this phrase whenever they're thinking about what to do next, when they're about to take an important decision on their life. Now, I don't mean to offend anybody, especially those that are Christians, but I don't think it's fair for anybody to expect me to behave the same way that Jesus did. <laughs> So let's be honest about this, okay? <laughs> Jesus has superpowers. <laughs> I mean, he could transform water into wine. Yeah. I can barely make some decent coffee. <laughs> he could walk in water. I tried to swim, I almost drowned. <laughs> he could feed hundreds of people with a little bit of bread and fish. I have to run to the super supermarket several times just to make myself a sandwich. <laughs> so instead of what would Jesus do, I like to use will my mother approve? <laughs> because you see, I was born and raised in a third world country. And in a third world country, if you misbehave, your mother doesn't send you to your room. She doesn't give you a five minute time out. <laughs> She will kick your ass. I got my ass kicked many times. So even now, as an old man, I like to call my mother every once in a while when I'm gonna make a, a decision in my life. And I don't do this out of fear that she's gonna kick my ass. She probably would, but I do it out of respect. And she, I had this respect from her from a very young age. I was about 10 years old, and I had been told many times not to ride my bicycle on the sidewalk. And of course, I was riding my bicycle on the sidewalk. And I didn't notice that this little girl was coming out of the grocery store, and I hit her with my bicycle, and we, we went like everywhere. <laughs> and the girl was okay, and I was okay, but the, dozen, but the dozen eggs that the girl had just pushed from the store were all broken. And so I did the only thing that a young man my age would do. I ran away. <laughs> but even before I got home, my mom was already outside the house waiting for me. <laughs> and this was before Facebook, before Twitter, before cell phones. We didn't even have a regular phone at home, but somehow she knew. She always knew when I was up to no good. So when she asked me what was wrong, I told her because she always knew when I was trying to lie to her. And she looked at me and was like, oh, okay, you know, go into the kitchen. She told me to go into the kitchen and grab a dozen eggs from the fridge and give it to this girl, take it to the girl to replace the one that I had broken. And I was thinking, wait, that's the only thing that we have for, that we have for dinner. But I wasn't about to argue with my mom because she would kick my ass. <laughs> so I, I did as she told me, and I took the dozen eggs and I gave it to the girl, and the girl went you know, to her house. And then I, I kept thinking the whole afternoon, what are we going to eat? Everybody's going to be upset when dinner time comes around because me, Mr. Accident, gave our dinner away. But when dinner time came around, my mother was able to serve dinner to all of us. To me, my siblings, my father, my father's siblings that stay with us, her siblings, and her, and her sibling kids, there's, all, there's many people that stay with us. She was always able to feed everybody. Somehow she managed to feed all of us. And that day after dinner, I went to sleep. And I saw my mother going back to her sewing machine because that's how she made a living, working on her sewing machine. And like many nights before and many nights after that, I saw her going on her sewing machine and just kept working on her sewing machine. The sound of her sewing machine was a lullaby. And I went to sleep. And sometime around two o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I saw my mother finally getting up from her sewing machine. And she looked so exhausted, she looked so tired that I was worried she wasn't gonna make it another day. And I saw her going into her bedroom and going into her bedroom and going to sleep. And I went to sleep thinking my mom is not gonna wake up tomorrow. But when I woke up, when I woke up the next morning, she was already up and she had already made breakfast for everybody. 
somehow she found the strength to wake up earlier than everybody else and make breakfast for everybody. Now that I think about it, my mother has superpowers. And I know, I know that even people with superpowers, they die and they go to heaven. I only pray that when this happens to my mom is finally when I am really old and I am I'm at home taking care of my own grandkids. And I know that my grandkids are gonna ask me, Grandpa, how was your mom? <laughs> and I will say, my mom had superpowers. Thank you.